Good morning, AHCA family. Kevin and I um, are coming to you again this morning. Kevin will be here in just a moment. He's um, sending out text messages. You guys know that we're going live again today. Um, we've really had it on our hearts to keep doing this because we have National Professional House Cleaners Day coming up on Saturday. And um, we are just really feeling inspired to come on here and support you guys and give you little messages of hope and encouragement and confidence and uh, also some ideas and tips and tricks on how to um, build that confidence and grow in this industry. So um, we just want to give a shout out to all you professional cleaners and um, we want you guys to know that we love you and we support you no matter what you're doing today. And um, here's Kevin. So are you guys ready for National Professional House Cleaners Day? If you are, please um, smash the heart, say yes, and um, let us know what you're doing for the day. Um, yeah. yeah, good morning, Pauline. House Cleaners Day is morning, in three Pauline. days, y'all. This year, it just happens to be celebrated on a Saturday. It'll be different next year. It'll be different every year, but it's on September 17th every year is National Professional House Cleaners Day, and it was founded by the American House Cleaners Association, the community that you're in right now. And it's good to see everybody. Um, let me know if you're having a good day today. Lords, good to see you. Um, and um, also let us know what your plans are for House Cleaners Day in the comments. Absolutely. Um, I know that we just completed our um, plans for House Cleaners Day for our team. Um, and um, it feels good to have that all squared away. Um, it's really important to celebrate our teams during this time if we have them. And if you are still solo, celebrate yourself, take the day off, rest, um, or at some point within the week or whatnot, whenever you get a chance to celebrate yourself, definitely take that time to reflect on the work you do and how important it is. So, um, Getting into our topic today, Kevin, um, do you want to start with the first point that they can do to conquer it, or would you like me to take that? Yeah, go for it. What we're going to talk about today, um, and this is really important, y'all, especially during, you know, the world's changing, and so is the economy, and so is business and the workforce, and so mm -hmm. it's imperative right now for you to make changes in your business. If you keep doing everything the same right now, it's not going to work out for you. We have to change and adapt to the changes in the world and the workforce right now. And so one of the most important things that you should do and you should do immediately is we need to raise our rates. And I know a lot of y'all are intimidated by that, maybe scared, apprehensive to do it because why? Because you don't want to lose any clients. And so that's what we're here to talk about today is uh, two things that you can do and you should do right now um, um, to, to raise your rates and then develop that confidence in, in, in doing so. Yes. So confidence is really number one when it comes to raising rates. If you aren't confident in the services that you're providing, um, then it's going to be a lot more tough to sit there and ask for money that you feel like you don't deserve. So the number one thing that you can do today to raise your rates is to join the AHCA and take the professional cleaning provider course. Um, and if you, I know that we're gonna be um, streaming this to other platforms like TikTok. So if you are not an AHCA member of our group, you need to join our group. Um, it's absolutely inspiring and supportive and it will help you know your worth in this industry. Um, and if you have teams, it is absolutely vital that you have them take the professional cleaning provider course as well. Um, the course is designed to not only give you the knowledge and the confidence in the work that you're doing um, on a daily basis, but it gives you the tools to be able to speak to your clients in a confident way about the work that you're doing. Making, you know, raising your rates um, and expecting good quality from your team a much easier task. Um, so that is number one, the education, the knowledge, um, will support you. Um, and then also the group and having that atmosphere of encouragement and people that are also in our industry around you to help support you through it. 
And if you're already a member of the American House Cleaners Association, if you've taken the professional clean provider online certification course, take it again. Take it as many times, especially module one and module two are designed to give you the certainty, the 100% belief in the importance of the trade that you do. And developing that certainty is going to boost your confidence yeah. so that you can take that, you can tap that higher level of potential, which will yeah. cause you to have faith in raising your rates. And so when you right. do so, you'll have complete belief and certainty that you're doing the right thing. Repetition makes perfection. So repeating the courses is definitely um, key to really letting uh, the knowledge and the confidence that comes from the course really become instilled in you. Absolutely. Hey, so, Carrie. Here's Arena, Shauna, Lucia. Hey good morning. Good to see y'all so, this morning. So glad y'all can make it. We're going to, um, we're talking about raising our rates and how we can conquer that fear mm -hmm. when doing so. And we're going to, here's number two. What's number yes, two? Yes. So number two. So first, the education and confidence overall. And then the second thing is accept more no's. Don't be afraid of the no's. See the no's as wins. Um, especially if you're advertising, if you're getting a good um, call volume in, volume in um, that's that will help because you're probably at first going to get more no's. As you build that confidence, uh, which it will grow, um, you, you have to accept those no's because the fact is, is that the yeses that are less quality clients that want to pay you um, in a smaller budget, they are actually losses because they are going to take your time. They are going to take your energy. The, um, the income you're going to be receiving will not match the output that you're giving. Um, it's going to be harder to build teams. It's, gonna, it's actually going to make team building impossible if you can't pay your team well because you're accepting the yeses and you're not getting enough no's. So the more no's you get, the closer you, you are to getting those yeses to the $60 an hour or $50 an hour or $80 an hour, depending on where you are. Everyone, I think at this point, if you're in a small town, I know our company is in a small town, so we get it. And it's super important to remember that even in a small town, there are people who want your services, your quality work. They want it, and if you haven't taken the PCP course, I, you know, that that's that's going to be um, a deal breaker because you're not going to be able to talk about these things confidently. So definitely take that PCP course and then get more no's, be excited about the no's, and see every conversation that you have with potential clients as another opportunity to practice that confidence, practice how you speak about what you do, and um, one client closer to the yes that's gonna help you and your team win. Yep, absolutely. Remember y'all, where your energy goes or where your focus goes. goes, your energy flows. So our confidence is paramount. Don't worry about getting those yeses. When those no's come in, don't fret it. Right. Just remember that every single no is one step closer to the yes that you need right. so that you can earn the rates that you need right now to build a solid team so that you can invest in your team. Mm -hmm. And we said yesterday, it's not about focusing on serving our client. It's about focusing on serving, on serving our, our team. team. That's it for day today. Y'all hope you guys have a good one. And we look forward to seeing you around the HCA community. All right. Take care, y'all. See, See you leaders on Thursday.